Hello, it's a um, short video on the uh, field bus module side of the DDC420. Uh, we use field bus modules to expand the input and output capability uh, when we're planning our projects. And the field bus modules are connected on the field bus connections where we have four terminal connections for, uh, for our cable. This is normally a two pair screened twisted pair cable and this allows us to derive the 12 volt DC power supply for the field bus modules to operate and then we have the two cores which are the communications for um, for the CAN bus. Just to clear up any anomalies, um, field bus modules operate on the CAN bus protocol. So when we say CAN bus we're also talking field bus. Also on the DDC this can be seen as CAN bus and it can also be seen in field bus, depending upon which, which parameters we're, we're considering. So apologies for the confusion, but sometimes engineers have to put up with a, a little bit of a, a labelling challenge, uh, especially with products coming from overseas. So um, in order to make a connection, please observe the wiring uh, recommendations on the datasheet for the FBU410 and also the DDC420, especially when it's concerning distances away um, or distances of the modules that are spread over the data connection. So if we had three FBU modules or three field bus modules located in the same switch control cabinet or control panel, then we would be happy that the DDC420 would be able to power all of those modules. As soon as we have a larger, a larger network range, then we may have to introduce an external power supply um, for for the uh, the modules to be powered, uh, and that's quite normal. So we do offer power supplies on our website www.sixcents.com, or you can contact us for further details on that. Um, in terms of the field bus module itself, what we have is uh, four relay outputs. Um, which have got removable terminal blocks, just like the DDC itself. We have six universal pins, each with um, different grounding points dependent upon the point type. So please observe that in order to get the correct output. And then we also have a, a user override capability for the digital outputs on, on, the, on the, uh, the relays. So you've got these hardware switches where we can manually override the plant to off, to on, or to permanent auto. The status of the relay outputs is also given with some LED lamps. We also have um, bus indication of um, correct operation and we also have an arrow light to let us know when certain things aren't quite right. So that could be a wiring issue or it could be an addressing conflict. In order for the units to be set up from you we have to understand that each field bus module in turn needs to have a unique address and to address a field bus module we must first remove the clear plastic cover off the top and then we can obtain something like a terminal screwdriver to remove and lift out the protective plate to gain access to the addressing dip switches or deal switches. Here we can see we have two switches for the address the switch on the left is for units of 10 and the switch on the right is for single units so this address is currently set at number one so it would follow then that if I had three of these one would be number one one would be number two and another would be number three in software we allocate which inputs and outputs are on a particular module so when we introduce the modules we must first know which one is address number one and address number two and address number three in order to make sure we get the right connections onto the right module. So that should also appear on any control panel drawings that you have, uh, you're constructing for this equipment. Uh, in terms of the product itself, it's DIN rail mounted. Um, you've got removable terminal blocks. The terminal blocks are numbered to match the terminals on the device. Um, and that's about it really, it's a small form factor. We do offer panel mounting kits that would allow both comp comp components to be sat side by side and visible through the control panel fascia. Alternatively, you can just have the field bus modules mounted 
anywhere you like in the building or in the in the rear of the control cabinet to suit yourselves okay i think that's about it um any feedback you can give on the video is greatly appreciated any questions just uh, log online to our support forum and raise a question thanks very much